first guest starred in one of the biggest movies of the year, Top Gun Maverick. Now you can see him in the new movie, Somebody I Used to Know. Please welcome Jay Ellis. Congratulations, you got married last summer in yeah, Italy? Yeah, I did, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Aww. yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. What was that like for you? It was beautiful, I mean, you know, uh, we always thought it was gonna be like 120, 135 people at the mm -hmm. wedding. 200 people showed up. Oh. Everybody was on vacation mode. Everybody was like, See. do I get an invitation? Cause I'm gonna be there. We, <laughs> I sent out invitations where I thought people would say no and they all showed up. Uh, <laughs> But we had a good time. It was amazing to see so many people, like so many friends. Look at my mama. Look at my oh, mama. Oh, is that mom? Look at my mama. Oh, mom was happy. Yeah, it was amazing to see so many people just come together and celebrate and just have a good time. Like, it was a big party. We had a lot of fun. And before acting, you started out as a model in New yeah. York? Yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta tell everybody this story about this underwear casting call you went on. What? Yeah, what happened? It's wild. So, like, at one point, uh, I lived in a house with like 16 models. Oh. 16 dudes, right? From 17, 16, 17 years old to like 35, 36 years old. So, it's a huge range of just nasty all in one building. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because we all, we still nasty. You just, it's just a range of nasty when you get older. But I had to go do this casting where if you picture a hallway, at the end of the hallway is a doorway. There's all these guys that are lined up in the hallway. When you walk through the doorway, uh, you get in the room and there's three people sitting at a table. In front of that table is a chair with a pair of underwear in it. You walk in, you say your name, you take a picture, you turn around, you drop trout, the butt naked days, and then you put your, yeah, because you know, I, you know, you just, you get naked and then you put the underwear on. So I watch a few people do it, and then it's my turn. I get in there, I say my name, I take the picture, I turn around, I look at the underwear, I look up at the doorway, and I realize that like 25 dudes had tried these underwear on. I thought that's what you were saying. Before me. Before you? Before me. And it was probably like another 15 who was gonna try it on after me. Again, I lived in a house with 16 dudes. I know how nasty they were. And eight of them were at the casting. That's commitment. So I was like, nah, man. I turned around and I was like, I am so sorry. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> this is not what my mom and daddy struggle for. Like, I can't. This is not what the ancestors struggle for. I can't do this. I was like, is he saying what I think he's saying? <laughs> they wanted y'all all to put on the same. They want us all to put them on. Oh, I'm so glad you had some yeah, stopping sense. Yeah, that was me going. That was it. <laughs> and I went home after that. You did? I went home after that. That was the last one I went to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They hey, you, can read, right. you, can, you can read your future off how shiny <laughs> my head is. That's like a magic eight ball. Uh, <laughs> that's actually my, my senior picture in high school. Uh -huh. You had to wear an extra baggy. So the shirt is like a double XL. You know what I'm saying? I, but the shorts are probably a double XL. You know, I, it, this was what led me to believe that I could model. <laughs> yeah, somebody should have said no, but, <laughs> but they didn't. Top Gun Maverick has six Oscar nominations? Yay. You know about that. You know about that. How that? Tell me how that, I don't know about six. How that feel? Uh, it's amazing. You know, this movie is like the gift that just keeps giving. Yeah. Like it's, um, you know, to shoot a movie over four years ago at this point and uh, to, uh, yeah, payback. payback. You know, to shoot this movie over four years ago and to be in this bubble and for us to think it's good, but then for it to come out to the world and like, be so successful in the box office and so many people love it. And then, you know, I mean, you know this, this town doesn't necessarily always celebrate movies that are box office successes. That and is so, true. Right? And, yes. and, and so for the community to come together and see how well and how just amazingly good, like, this film was executed from top to bottom, like, it's just an amazing feeling. Well, y'all, I did y'all yeah. something. Now, maybe, do you think Oh, That's the, the first picture we ever took together. Is it? That's the first picture we ever took together months before we started filming, actually, yeah. Did you have to learn how to fly, too? Yeah. Dang, oh, so yeah. it was like hands-on. Hands-on. My first flight was actually with Glenn Powell. Uh, we flew into in a Cessna together. I flew first. He was sitting in the back seat. He was so sick when we landed. Oh, my God. <laughs> because, you know, they give you this thing, and it, it's crazy how you're up in the air, and it just feels so light, and you're just turning it and whatever. And then, you know, you don't realize that, like, it's like being in the back of a car. You know how, like, it's bumpier when yeah. you sit in the back? I didn't realize I was tearing my man up. <laughs> we landed, and he was like, I need a water break. <laughs> I, 
I need a few minutes to just get my life back. And then we got up and, and he got to fly. It was amazing. And then, you know, Tom created this flight program for us that went all the way through to F-18s. Amazing. Yeah. That is dope. Okay, so the scenes with the, the shirtless, like, I mean, and y'all worked hard for them bodies. Oh, we worked hard. What was that like? Uh, y'all see this? And the diet and the, yeah, what's the... You know, here's the thing. Here's what none of us expected. None of us expected that this was going to go viral the way that it went viral. Uh, but I will tell you, Glenn and I, Jerry Bruckheimer, who produced the movie, is a legendary producer in this town, he was like, I go, uh, the weekend that movies come out, I, my movies come out, I always go to the theater and I watch the audience. Uh -huh. So my back is to the screen and I'm just watching the audience. So Glenn and I were like, yo, let's go do it. We introduced a few screenings, surprised a few folks. And then we would walk into other screenings that were mid-movie and we would just watch the audience watching the movie. And when I tell you the sweat that was on people's faces <laughs> watching that scene, they were sweatier than us. People they were like, were? oh my God, them abs. <laughs> oh my, ooh. Hey, Three Kings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's worth watching. <laughs> that's, oh, host the show. Listen. <laughs> Okay, Tom Cruise, y'all look like that, and he sent y'all cakes. Are you on his cake list? He, we are on the cake. We got the cake right after this, actually. After that? We, we got the cake like two weeks after this. Uh, the cake is 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 coveted in this town. It's literally like getting a trophy. Really? Yeah. Yes. I uh, We get the cake every year. It's always a surprise when you get it, like, because you're so excited to get it, and mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're still on the gift list, like you ain't oh, getting okay. crossed off. Uh, but the cake shows up, and this year... Uh, my family, we all met uh, in Mexico to spend Christmas together. Uh -huh. And I was away filming a movie. And so I was like, Mom, can you freeze the cake and take it to Mexico? Is that serious? My whole family was like, yes, freeze the cake. <laughs> ice, we, but, but whatever it is, dry ice, ice cubes, whatever it is, we froze the cake, we took it to Mexico, thawed it out, and we had it on Christmas Day. And you had it on Christmas yeah. Day. All right, well, I need to be on this list, Tom. Let me cake. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.